Hey Planerholics and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the July pages inside my Hobonichi A6 original. This is my creative journal. This is where I keep a log of my daily highlights and I sort of memory keep my life in here. I just write about little tidbits of the day and then sometimes I'll add and I decorate. I add stickers, photos. So I recently started getting back into journaling. I explained in my last video where I was kind of doing a planner update up until the first half of the year where I explained that I haven't been using my planners much much because of this whole pandemic and quarantine but anyway I started getting back into journaling this month of July and I just wanted to share with you guys my pages give you a little flip through maybe explain a few things of what I usually do how I design my layouts and whatnot so let's start off with July and get into it so this is the first spread. This is the cover page like I explained in my last video. That again, I will be tagging it above so you guys can check it out. But I've been printing out these free printables. These are little calendar designs that Ferris Wheel Press offers in their website. You just have to sign up and then you can download every single month. And that's what I've been doing for every single month inside this notebook. See, this is March. This is April and so forth. So this is a July page. You can color them in if you want. I like to keep it black and white. I just like the aesthetic of it. And what I do is I add a little strip of washi just because the page doesn't exactly fit into the A6, but that's okay, I don't really mind. So this is my first page or my first introduction to the month. As you can see, sometimes I try to do a little lettering. I'm not very good with it. I would like to practice more this summer, but we'll see how that goes. So what I usually do is I just use some Crayola markers. These are the, what are they called? The super tip, I think. The ones that everybody uses for calligraphy, but I just use them to, you know, just do regular fonts. And then I kind of write out about my day. Sometimes I'll add some stickers to signify the tasks that I've been doing. I'll add some washi. This day was very exciting because we finally put the microchip into our puppy. In case you don't know, we recently got a yellow lab. He's very cute. His name is Jack. Again, I'm going to do a little bit of publicity for him. He has an Instagram account, so I will be leaving the link below and around here so you guys can check him out. He's super adorable, very good puppy, and we just love him so much. So that's the day's highlight. We sent him to the vet and we put his microchip on. And I've also completed my day's workout because I'm trying to exercise about three to four times a week and I don't always do that. So when I do it, it's a big accomplishment for me. So I just jotted that down. This next day, I just wrote a little bit about the day. As you can see, sometimes I like to add little quote stickers. A lot of the stickers that I use are from the Happy Planner set. So I have quite a few just these four not not that many but i have these four packs of happy planner stickers from me and my big ideas so this is the one that i've had for a couple of years it's almost over but it's very functional and then i have the happy quotes the gold star quotes and just the regular quotes just because i like to add quotes throughout my pages sometimes they're relevant to the day sometimes they're just there for decoration so this day i had a mission to reorganize my desk space just because everything had been so busy because i had been working from home and i just felt like my space was very cluttered and that's one of the main reasons why i never wanted to journal inside this notebook so because i cleared that up i felt a lot more refreshed and with more motivation to journal inside this hobonichi the next page it was the fourth of july i don't really celebrate it but i do have family who live in the united states so i just a little reminder about that you'll see that i do print a lot of pictures of jack that's him right here he has been trying to get on the couch quite a few times and we tried to not let him go on the couch but it's an impossible mission so he ended up going on the couch we tried to make him stay on top of a blanket just so that he knows that's his space but we're still working on that <laughs> after a month and then i had a leg workout which i was really proud of because it made me really sore so that means I did a good job and then during the afternoon we spent some time with family and all our nieces and nephews that they got to spend some time with Jack as well. The next day is just more Sunday adventures. Here's a, a little selfie where I was sharing my sunglasses. More pictures of Jack, him trying to lay on top of me on the couch. 
was a general laid back day. This is just some days I only feel like writing. I don't want to do much decorating. I added some washi strips, a little sticker and stuff. And then the next day I had a really, really bad day because I got a really bad case of hives. Sorry if these pictures bother you, but yeah, I just had extremely, extremely bad reaction to something. I still don't know what, but it was really, really uncomfortable. I had to go to the ER and whatnot. So that's just a day to remember, I guess. The next day I spent the, actually the next few days I spent them with my in-laws so that they could help me out with Jack just because my boyfriend was working and because I had that whole hives issue i needed some help with the dog so we stayed a few days with them and that's him in their house the next day i think we came back home and it was just trying to get back to the normal routine um, we went shopping for a whole bunch of veggies and fruits we're trying to do a healthy lifestyle so that these things don't happen as they usually do the next day, I had a really productive morning. I made a checklist of everything that I accomplished. We took Jack out for a walk and I love taking pictures of him. So there's a bunch of them throughout the pages as you'll see. On Saturday, we celebrated a baby shower of one of our friends. We had to sneak into her house and decorate the whole space and we surprised her. She did not expect it at all. So we had a lot of fun trying to make everything nice and pretty for her. And then we just spent the afternoon Noon all together. The next day was, uh, I said here, weird sunny. I don't actually remember what happened here, but Jack lost his tooth. Or was it his um, fang? I think it was one of his fangs. So I took a picture of it, I put it in black and white, and just wanted to remember about that. He's been teething really bad around this week. So on Monday, I went back to work just because all of these days I was on vacation. So Monday was back to work, and it was the first time that we were leaving Jack home alone. He did really, really well. He slept the whole time. So we weren't really worried about that and I was a proud mama. Then in the afternoon, we went to a new comic book store that they opened up around where we live. So I just kept a little contact card and thought it was cool to do a little flip in here. This is just more journaling for Tuesday. Not much to mention. I have been using a few stickers from Some Little Things. So I did receive a few months ago a package from her shop. She let me pick out a whole bunch of stickers so that I could try out and they're really, really, really amazing and I love them just because most of them are like little rabbits and because I'm obsessed with bunnies ever since I had Maggie, I was just in love with her shop. So all of these are the stickers that I received from her. So I did a little haul on my Instagram account in case you guys didn't check it out, but here's a little flip of all of the stickers. She has weekly sets for the Hobonichi Weeks. I still haven't tried them because I like to keep my weeks very minimal, but one day I might use this. And then, yeah, so I just have a bunch of like little functional stickers, some kits, some weather icons, and I really, really love them. So once in a while, I incorporate them into my journaling and even sometimes into my weekly planner, my Hobonichi Weeks. The next day, I was really excited because I had received two books that I ordered. I received Marie Forleo's Everything is Figure Outable. Figure Outable. I really have a hard time pronouncing that word. And I received The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. I've always been wanting to read that book. It's very short, so maybe one day I will get into it. So just a little bit of journaling about that. The next day, I met up with my cousin. She came over to my house. She met Jack for the first time because of all this whole quarantine. So she finally met him and then we did like a late birthday gift exchange just because my birthday was in April and hers had been in the beginning of July and we had bought gifts for each other so we exchanged them on this day. She got me a Mulan Fungo Pop which I love. She's uh, standing right next to my Wonder Woman. I want to have like powerful woman Fungo Pops. The next day is just more pictures of Jack. As you can see I have more quote stickers and just some lettering with my markers. My pictures I will print using my zinc printer. This is my HP sprocket and it comes in packs of 10 sheets, I believe, the refills. And what I do is I make a collage and I put four pictures in one. So that way I can make the most use of the refills and I don't have to keep buying refills continually. So most of my pictures, as you can see, are about this size. Sometimes I'll make some a little bigger, as you saw around here. Oh, here. See, sometimes I'll make them a little bigger. Maybe I probably used half and half here. That's why it's bigger. 
but usually they're about one fourth of the size of the actual printer. So this day we took Jack on a really, really long walk and he was so tired that he suddenly laid down on the very entrance of the house and he didn't even have the energy or strength to come inside his house. <laughs> so we took a picture of that because we thought it was very funny and cute. The next day was just a Saturday chilling, playing with Jack. We got him a new toy, so he was very excited about that. I stayed most of the afternoon watching a new Netflix show. I think it's called Curse. Not in love with it, but somehow I got hooked. And then I have a picture of my niece. She had a dance recital the day before and I saw the pictures on Facebook and she looked so beautiful. I loved it. So I had to record that and put it there. This Sunday was just like a regular Sunday. Again, not very exciting because we are still trying to be safe with this whole pandemic issue. So I pretty much did what says it here on the title, clean, work out, spend time with family and then journaled, you know, just to the point. The next day is a Monday and I received some New Balance shoes that I had been meaning to get. I was really excited about them because I had been waiting for them to lower their price so that I could finally purchase them and I did. So finally arrived and I was really happy about that. Then I just added like a little quote here. The next day I received my new Lamy pen. Now I wrote Safari and I even did like this whole Safari theme with all of these animals and then the next day I found out that it's not a Safari pen, it's actually a Vista. So I did a little note here and I wrote that somebody pointed out that it's not a Safari pen and it's a Vista, but it was too late to redesign this. So I just left it like that and I thought it's funny that I don't even know the models of fountain pens. I have so much to learn. But yeah, I'm really excited. I started using it that very same day. You can see this is a medium nib and I recharged it with black ink and I really, really love the way it writes on Tomo River paper. So I'm trying to get used to writing with fountain pens. Maybe I'll get into them. Hopefully, I just know there's so many out there and they're not that cheap, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I am starting off with this because I really love this clip design for some reason. I just find it really, really elegant and a really cool aesthetic. The next day, I received some sandals from the brand Yokono, which has like a little ladybug for its logo. And I just put the tag here and then I had some ladybug stickers. So I just took the opportunity to make like a little ladybug theme. So as you can see in these two next pages, I was using my fountain pen and I really wanted to try writing calligraphy. I find that it's a little more easier just because the tip is so smooth and it's a little thicker than usual or than what I'm used to. So I think that uh, using it a calligraphy style or cursive more than I don't know how to write calligraphy this is cursive so using it in a cursive handwriting I think it's a lot more easier to use but either way I want to practice both so you're gonna see a mix of uh, cursive and just regular typography font or whatever it's called I don't know you guys about fonts so <laughs> sorry about that anyway so this day I what did I do I had a big migraine I had a lot of work in the morning and then in the afternoon my boyfriend had to do some extra hours at work too so I had to take care of Jack and he was being a little troublesome but either way I took a picture with him because he's adorable and super cute he laid on top of me and on the couch like I mentioned it's an impossible mission he's just gonna keep getting on the couch what am I gonna do so um, I also curled my hair that day and I thought it looked cool so I took a picture of that the next day, here's the tag of those Yokono shoes. I bought two pairs of sandals and the ones that I really loved that they were kind of like yellowish. I might insert a picture around here somewhere in case you guys want to check them out. I just found them super nice, but I got the wrong size. I got a size 38, so I had to return them and buy a size 37 and they arrived that day. And again, I wrote, it's the perfect fit. I was really happy about that. And again, here's another picture of Jack on top of my boyfriend. He was being super cute that day. I spoke with my sister via WhatsApp and she told me about a house that they want to buy and she got approved so she was very excited about that. The next day was a Saturday. I had a good workout that day. I had a picture here, took a picture here with my Fitball and then a super productive morning because I managed to clean a whole bunch of sections or zones in the house. I don't do zone cleaning but I have a small apartment but either way I managed to check off a bunch of cleaning tasks and I also managed to work out, shower, and clean everything. So I was really, really proud of that. In the afternoon, we took Jack to see my boyfriend's grandmother and mom. And then we spent the afternoon in the park with them. It was very nice. Very hot, but it was nice. The next day, we 
deep clean the house even though i tidied up and did a lot on saturday we still had a lot to do we had to wash windows clean the entire balcony and whatnot so we spent the morning doing that and then we had to go feed my cousin's cat because she left on vacation so we went to her house and fed the cat and then in the afternoon um our nieces and nephews came to visit again and something very funny that happened was that we live in the fifth floor and our elevator broke so because Jack is still kind of small, I mean, he's big in size, but he's only about six months old. So he's not used to going up so many stairs. So my boyfriend had to carry him all the way up to the fifth floor. And he was just the funniest thing because he had like super happy face, like, yay, I'm being carried. It was just really, really funny. So I had to document that because I had a really great time <laughs> during those flight of stairs. The next day, for some reason, I wasn't feeling really good. Um, um, but Jack was behaving really nice. Here's a little picture of him on the couch sleeping. So I was lucky that he was behaving so well. And then I just took some pictures with him in the afternoon. As you can see, like most of my days are just pictures with Jack just because he makes my day a little more brighter even though I'm not feeling that well. The next day, I've been doing a lot of purchasing lately on Amazon. I'm just a little obsessed with um, spending money. I don't know if it's the quarantine or what it is, but I've just been spending a lot of money lately. So I bought a new phone case just a regular transparent phone case and my very first pop socket so i was excited about that and i really like how the instructions were kind of like this fluorescent or i don't know how you call this holographic design in the background so i just stuck that in and i thought it was very cute and again i wasn't feeling too great this day either and i just journaled a little bit about that and then i took a picture of my shirt kind of to remind myself to forget about the drama delete the drama and just focus on yourself and forget about about everything else and that kind of made me feel a little better on Wednesday I decided that I was gonna take it one day at a time and not feel so anxious how I've been feeling lately but it's been extremely hot we've been having 39 degrees basically melting everywhere we go so the heat doesn't help but either way we did a lot of things that day it was also the anniversary of when we had gotten our little bunny so i had to do a little reminder of that now we're into thursday i took this day most of the day i spent it journaling i had I don't always journal every single day because I don't have time so sometimes when I do have time I'll just sit and record like past days so this was one of those days where I had to like back memory log things so that's what I did on the 30th and here I liked using different combinations of markers and pens this is again the Lamy one as you can see I try writing like regular like handwriting font and sometimes I'll do like cursive so I like to combine the both and sometimes when I don't feel like using a Lamy pen Pen. I write with this sepia. This is a uni pen fine liner. It's a water and fade proof and it's super 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 thin. It's a 0 0.1. It's a very very thin tip. I just really like the color because it's like very monotone sepia but it just looks really nice when you journal. This is a pen that I've been using the entire time before I got my new, my first fountain pen. So you can see all the handwriting and journaling is with this very 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 light sepia color and I really like it. And yeah this is yesterday was the last day. I took a picture of myself wearing a mask at work because we were super busy that day and I just felt like recording myself wearing the mask. <laughs> And yeah, so basically that's my July and this is August. Today is the very first day of August and Jack is six months old. So I'll share with you guys if I keep up this rhythm of journaling every single day or keeping up with some pages every once in a while, I will share with you guys monthly flip throughs. I would really, really like to do that. So hopefully I can do that and keep up with it. And let me know if this is something you enjoy and if you like these like chatty videos of me sharing my day to day or if you prefer just like having some music in the background and just me flipping the pages. So let me know in the comments below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that helps out my channel a lot. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everybody and have a wonderful day.